in here just had a shower and I'm absolutely boiling today I'm going to be doing a cross dresser the ultimate cross dresser makeup hacks I'm gonna show you quite a bit I'm gonna show you quite a bit and I'm gonna show you how to do boobs as well so got myself a breastplate bang you know obviously society and everything there is a certain way that society wants you to look in terms of being masculine or feminine I don't care you know what I mean? I can look like this and feel comfortable. I just put a top on and I'm fine. Good to go. I can. All, I also feel confident as a cross-dresser. I don't consider myself a drag queen. I'm not trans. I am a boy in makeup. I know that within myself. I'm a he, him. All of that jazz. Flava, flava. Because if I don't say that, I know people will come at me in the comments. And I'm sure they still will regardless. So the first thing that I'm going to do. So take everything that I say with a pinch of salt. I don't mean any harm or malice with anything that I do in this video. So, let's get started. I'm first gonna put in some contact lenses. So guys, those contact lenses are from Poly Eye. I'm gonna leave a link down below and a coupon code as well. First of all, contact lenses look really nice. These look really natural and they help me see because I actually need prescription. So I've already moisturized, but I like to do a thick layer of moisturizer, to be honest with you. You want your face to be really, really smooth. Do you know what I mean? After shaving, after shaving your face, you know, your face is gonna be really, really vulnerable. So you want there to be a clear barrier between your skin and the makeup. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using some Flawless Brightening Primer. This is from Barry M. And you really wanna focus around your beard area and your nose area as well just because that is the places where boys are most porous um, I feel like and you want to fill in the gaps and smooth that beard down so where you shaved you want to smooth that down and then I'm going to be using my Revolution foundation stick this is in F8 and actually, um, I'm scraping that in because I've run out of this. Before I open up my new one, I'm scraping the rest of whatever's left in this. And I'm applying that to the beard area. So everywhere where you want to colour correct, I'm applying this. Um, I don't necessarily all the time like to colour correct with an orange just because uh, I don't have time for that. Sometimes it takes a little bit too long to blend, I feel like. Um, so I'm applying that all around the mouth area and you don't want to forget this bit because That has a lot of grayness as well You just want to apply a really full coverage foundation on top of that first before you go in okay, That's finished throwing that in the bin. I'm gonna pack this in. I don't want to move it or drag it because um, Then you're basically like removing the product. I don't even know what hair I'm doing um, Might do like just a bit extensions. Don't know if I'm feeling like applying a wig today. I mean, I've got pretty long hair anyway, so might as well. But I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm actually gonna use my Ben Nye Banana Powder just to go over that a little bit. So we're creating a layer of skin that's not got a five o'clock shadow, basically, before we go in with our coverage, which is our foundation. You want to set this before you do your foundation, your proper one, just because you don't want any of the quote unquote like colour correction to go away or move. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Sephora 10 hour perfect foundation. This is in medium 31. This is such a good foundation. Um, yeah, I tend to use liquid. If you want like a fuller coverage like that, like go ahead. But I think this works pretty well. And I'm just using like a pump. And again, I'm just patting that. What I do for my forehead is I don't apply any more product. i uh, finished off the pump for my lower half and whatever's left on the brush, I'm just kind of grazing that over the forehead. Okay, going ahead again with a Revolution product. This is the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage in C8 again. I did a medium coverage foundation, I'm doing a full coverage for the concealer. This is going to highlight my chin area. 
the mouth area, adding a little bit more coverage in there just secures it. The part that I get most paranoid about is probably my top lip, that's why I apply quite a bit in there. And obviously the under eye area. So basically, with a man's face, you want to bring that forward and you want to make it look a little bit more rounder rather than angular. You see, I've got quite angle, like I've got strong angles to my face. So with guys, you tend to have like a little bit more of a good look. I do have quite a feminine face, but I still do have those sharp angles to my face. You can see like it's quite angular. So if you are quite chiseled, more chiseled than even me, then I would say like, you know, we want to break those down, you want to make it rounder rather than more rectangular. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go in again with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. So a lot of boys actually uh, do message me and um, want to cross dress, or they want to be drag queens. Um, see, I'm not a drag queen, but I do have a few drag daughters and um, I've transformed quite a few boys over the years who have wanted to like cross dress. Um, it's something that's not like, you know, it's not really something talked about, but they are out there. I feel comfortable with it now. Before, if someone called me a cross dresser, I'd be like, what? Like, what are you on about? Like. I'm just me, I'm just your run of the mill feminine boy, but like, I'm over it, like I'm not, I'm not bothered. I would say as well, you for your base, you wanna go matte and you wanna add shine later to bring back that dewiness, just because matte is flat, whereas dewy means texture. Texture means everything is gonna show, like your beard. See, for me, I just want to look good, you know what I mean? I want to look good and feel good, period. I'm going to use my Super Drug Vitamin E Mist. This is a hydrating mist, and I'm just going to bring back some life to this flat matte face. Flood your face with a little bit of that. Basically, you guys, um, this makeup tutorial is all through my makeup bag. These are all makeup that I use all the time, I switch out the products here and then because my makeup collection be a little bit too overwhelming for me. So I've got a capsule makeup collection in a makeup bag and I can do my whole face with it. It's got everything, lashes, brushes, skincare, hair grips, everything, all in this bag. So you can do it too. So I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita. This is such a classic eyeshadow palette. We have used quite a bit of drugstore products. So, you know, a little bit of high-end, never hurt nobody. So I'm gonna use this color, this kind of coppery color. So for eyeshadows, we're not going drag, guys. We're not going drag, we're going natural. Do you know what I mean? You can do what you want, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Clearly, you don't have to follow anything that I say. You can just watch this if you want, you know what I mean? But I'm using this coppery color, just a little bit of that, and I'm just applying that all over the lid. And also, side note, you guys, I don't fill in my eyebrows. Like, that's just not something that I do. I'm going to be blending out the edges. So treat, sexy, cute. I'm gonna use this ivory champagne color. I'm just popping that into the inner corner. It spaces out the eye, it opens it up. You want to make different parts of your face smaller and different parts of your face bigger. So you want your eyes to be bigger, your face to be smaller, your nose to be smaller, you want your lips to be bigger, period. That's just how it is. So to open up the eyes even more, you want to use a flesh toned eyeliner or a white eyeliner. I'm using one from Barry M. And I'm just going to line the waterline. That really opens up the eyes. This is gonna really transform the look. Make it go from zero to 100 real quick. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and put some lashes on and I'm gonna come back. So guys, lashes on. I use the Mama Mitchell 2 by Tati Lashes. Look at how much they just open up my eyes, make my eyes look bigger. They're cute, they're cute. So moving on to bronzer, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in medium number two. 
So you can see guys, obviously I used a bunch of products today that were affordable and also higher end. So giving you that option, giving you versatility. I'm actually rimming. Don't try it. Um, I'm gonna be rimming the forehead and creating that beige rainbow with my bronzer. You wanna go right up to the hairline. This closes in on the forehead and makes this brighter and the edges of it a little bit more um, shadowed and then it creates the illusion of a smaller forehead. And then um, I don't go too crazy on the cheek contour. I kind of just like uh, bronze at the edges. I don't go too far in because then that makes you look gone. You want to look rounder, you know what I mean? So you wanna go in circular motions, you wanna go higher up as well. You don't wanna go too low because then that makes your face look longer. So if you go too low, then it doesn't make sense. It pulls your face down. You wanna bring everything up. You wanna put it right here under the lip. It brings the lip out. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzing on my nose. I just wanna do a little bit of a bronze there. I don't really contour all that much. You see here where it's kind of like an L shape for my jawline, what I like to do is I actually cut it. So I don't bronze underneath the cheekbone, I bronze above it. One, it warms this bit up, and two, from the face front, it kind of shadows it. You Can, can you see that? Like it shadows the corner and it cuts the edge off. It cuts the edge off, making this look less sharp. It just looks a little bit more V-shaped and Feminine. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Geek blush palette. I'm gonna be using, um, I'm gonna use this mauve pinky shade because it's super natural. And I'm applying it right here on the apples, grazing it to the top of my nose. I think that looks super feminine. It makes you look cold, as if you've been outside. I mean, I could go in with that orange or that pink, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go really lightly with this natural color because it's a little bit more subtle. I'm not, you know, I'm not going on stage to do a drag performance. I'm literally just, you know, being soft and subtle like a little cross-dresser that I am. <sighs> I'm also gonna apply the blush right on my chin on my forehead a little bit and on my top lip warms all of that up without looking too 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 too, too crazy okay so highlighter you guys what i use is the autograph highlighter in golden rose you can get this from m and s um so i'm using like a blending brush for this like an eye blending brush just because it's a little bit more precise in that way i'm just going to dip my brush in here, tap off the excess, you always just want a build up, you don't want to go too heavy handed for anything. So I'm applying like a dot here, and you can already start to see that, so I'm just going to build up on that little, little area, right here, right onto the tops of the cheekbones. You see that? Brush off the excess at the back of your hand and then you want to blend the edges. That's it. That's literally all we're applying. You don't want to apply too much because this adds texture back to the skin as well. So you don't want to really add too much texture. You just want a little bit of a glow. Makes the skin look not as flat, you know what I mean? It gives that a little bit of uh, dimension, period. That looks, oh, that looks insane. A little bit on the top lip, Cupid's bow, accentuate that. And then just grazing it ever so slightly. A little bit on the center of the nose, the nose bridge. A little bit, not too much. It's just coming together. It's just, honestly, it's just coming together for you guys. Go take a moment. Guys, lip liner, lime crime in minx. Lime crime lip liners are really good. I used to work for lime crime, did you know that? I don't think I've ever told you that. I worked for lime crime before. 
in Selfridges back in the day. Um, so I'm using a darker brown lip liner. My lips are already quite big, so uh, I'm not overlining too much. If you do want to overline, make sure you don't go overboard. You want to start thinner at the inner corner and then go thicker. And then you want to make, you just want to go right outside of your lip line. That's how big you want to go. You don't want to go too overboard. Calm down. Right along the edges. That will help blend our lipsticks in. I'm using YSL Rouge Beloved in number 13. This is a peachy colour. You want to go warm on your lips as well. You don't want to go too ashy with your nudes because with your nudes, you know, if you apply too nude of a colour, then your beard will show. I'm putting that in, blending that in. And for my gloss, I'm going to be using my Peaches in Cream in um, aptly named Girl Talk. You just want to apply this to the centre. You don't want to go on the edges because then it looks like you're like drooling. It looks like you've been eating like a glazed donut or like something else. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going to do my hair and come back. Okay, so I'm going to bring out the breastplates, the big guns from youcharmmore.com. I'm just placing it on top of my chest, as you can see, uh, situating it at the right position, basically. And then I'm going to the back and velcroing that shirt. This is a customised breastplate. I'm popping my bra on top of that. And you can see the seams just be disappearing like that. And then I'm going to put this top on. I think this is from Pretty Little Thing dot com and it's a tie around tie top and it just hides all the edges i'm just going to be powdering that down uh, matting out the shine and also putting a bit of bronzer on top the same one that i put on my face and that's it i've just done my hair and i put my breastplate on this guys is a breastplate from you charm more and i will leave a link down below and basically they specialize in breastplates for drag queens and also cross dresses beautiful absolutely beautiful so guys that is it i hope that you found the video helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram all of that and until i see you guys on my next video bye guys